An intent is a messaging object which you can use to request an action from another app component. There are three fundamental use cases of intents. Starting an activity, starting a service, delivering a broadcast. An activity represents a single screen in an app. You can start a new instance of an activity by passing an intent to start activity method. The intent describes the activity to start and carries any necessary data to be transmitted to the opened activity. If you want to receive a result from the activity, when it finishes, you can use start activity for result method. Your activity receives the result as a separate intent object in your activities on activity result callback method. For more information about activity, see the lecture related to activities. A service is a component that performs operations in the background without a user interface. You can start a service to perform a one-time operation such as downloading a file. The service can be started by passing an intent to start service method. The intent describes the service to start and carries any necessary data. If the service is designated with a client server interface, you can bind to the service from another component by passing an intent to bind service method. For more information about service, see the lecture related to services in Android. A broadcast is a message that any app in the system can receive. The system delivers various broadcasts for system events such as when the system boots up or the device starts charging. You can deliver a broadcast to other apps by passing an intent to send broadcast method or send ordered broadcast methods. There are two types of intents, explicit intents and implicit intents. Explicit intents specify which application will satisfy the intent by supplying either the target app's package name or a fully qualified component class name. You will typically use an explicit intent to start a component in your own app because you know the class name of the activity or service you want to start. For example, you might start a new activity within your app in response to a user action or start a service to download a file in the background. Implicit intents do not name a specific component but instead declare a general action to perform which allows a component from another app to handle it. For example, if you want to show the user a location on a map, you can use an implicit intent to request that another capable app, for example Google Maps, show a specify, specific location on the map. Explicit intents can be compared to the postal system where post mail is specific to a receiver address, whereas implicit intent can be compared to a job notice board. Any person could see the notice board and take up a job. So in this lab session, we will create an intent which will open up a second activity. The intent also passes a message on to second activity. So it works like this. So we have this main activity here uh, which has a button in it and when you click on that it will open the second activity 
and it displays the message hello from main activity which is sent from the main activity so let's get started so i have opened the to do project so if you want to follow along with me please download the to do project from the github uh, the link to the github is in the description so this project has all the to do's here so you can go to this tab and he, here you can see all the steps which we will do during this exercise so when you click on this to do you will go to that area where you need to add some code to implement an intent and open up a new activity so this project has two activities main activity and second activity so the main activity consists of a button and on click of that button it should create an intent and opens up the second activity it should also pass a message to the second activity so let's first come to to do and the first step to do is to create an intent so the first step is to create the intent object so we create the intent object here using the intent constructor so it has two parameters so the first parameter is the context so in this case i pass this keyword which refers to this particular class as the context and then we have the second activity so this second activity is defined here so in this project we have main activity and second activity so in the as the, as the second parameter i'm using the second activity so this is the activity which i have to open so if you wanted to open a separate activity like for example third activity then you would be passing here third activity and then the next step is to put some extra message so do that by using the put extra method which accepts two parameters the message which is nothing but the key or name of the message so i have named the key of the message as message in this case and the value is hello from main activity so whenever you want to access this message you have to use this keyword the message keyword okay so you could name this as um, anything like message from main activity or anything as you want okay and then the final step is to start the activity using this intent so for that we use the start activity method and pass the intent we just created here in these two steps we are done with all the steps which are needed to create the intent and start the activity using that particular intent and also please note that i have written all this code inside the button on click listener so now let's go to the second activity and add the steps to receive the intent and access the message from the intent and display it onto the text view let's go here so the first step is to get the intent inside the second activity first we create a bundle and this bundle we assign with the intent dot extras so basically what we are doing here is that this intent object contains all the messages or extra messages we have put when we created this intent so if you remember in the main activity we use this step to put extra this message right so this will be available with this intent dot extras so this bundle basically will contain this particular message key and this value so now in the next step we created one message string basically and use this bundle dot get string of message okay so we have used the same key which we have given in the main activity in the second activity and in the final step we create a reference to the text view which is defined in the second activity so if you click on this you go to the xml file and in the xml file there is this text view this text view and this text for this text view we have given this id as text view so we are referencing referencing that here and we are 
creating and creating a reference object to that that is text view now once that is done we use this object to set the text to this message and this message is nothing but the message which we retrieved using the scheme message so that means we are retrieving basically this value hello from main activity in the second activity okay so i hope it is very clear and now let's run it so here you go so if you click on show second activity it shows the second activity hello from main activity